So recently, I've been drinking San Pellegrino. And um, if you've already seen throughout my videos, especially during the digital launchpad review, you would have seen that a lot. I mean, it was basically just in the frame most of the video uh, when I was recording on my desk here. It's uh, Monday, but yesterday I just bought three more bottles. So this is actually my second bottle. I don't know. It's just like, you know, I'm not doing it to like ride a wave or copy someone else. It was just, I actually never stay hydrated. I never drink my water. Like I always have this, this Yeti bottle. This is one liter. This is also one liter. But the reason why I drink this, and this just goes down so much more quickly, is in here, when I refill it, honestly, um, it's just cold, normal, still water, nothing appealing about it. And I end up just forgetting to hydrate myself. And, I end up, and then that means I basically never get even close to a liter a day. Um, and so, I just like thought, you know, while I was in store, why not just try this? I just saw it on the shelf and I was like, okay, I didn't recognize this brand. Let's try it. And so I guess now I just want to drink this all day. Um, and there's nothing special about it. It's just sparkling water or mineral water. Um, but it just keeps me hydrated. Also, it's just more appealing than still water. So guys, this video is mostly going to be just talk related um so i'm just recording the day after that uh previous video uh, but yeah i just wanted to record a couple talks give you guys a bit of insight that i could actually speak on um and then i guess that will be it for the video so yeah guys i don't have a lot of time i just woke up um yeah i guess the changes so far and uh, just recently haven't been able to really walk outside, even though every time I walk outside at night, it is so therapeutic. I've just been having my workouts fall through just because of my sleep schedule. Yeah, again, just being really busy as well. Just every, a lot of things are falling through and uh, just recently I haven't been able to tick or even start day one of Monk Room. Just because I want it, I want to ensure that I'm actually being truthful with um, the fact that I actually did work out that day and I'm not just ticking it to go to the next day. So yeah, guys, I'll fill you in and I'll continue off after school. So guys, today I feel like just updating you on, I don't know, what's been going on in my life. Basically, I haven't touched the camera in maybe close to a week. I'm still working on um, the digital launchpad review, but yet again, by the time you guys see this, it would have been already out yet again i apologize that it's gonna it was delayed by like 20 30 days like i really did not expect this to take that long but i just wanted to be so comprehensive and intricate and make sure that you know i'm, I'm putting the best quality possible within the realm of my abilities so but anyways um don't mind my desk it is a little bit messy um but just had a monster, like half a monster, so it's 80 milligrams of caffeine. Looking to stay up a bit late tonight. Um, it is Wednesday, uh, whatever day of March it is, it is a Wednesday. That's all I know. As you can see, um, if you can see it, 10 p.m. So in regards to video editing, I've been just editing a lot more than I should be. Yet again, with, you know, when I record these vlogs, I try to aim for about four hours total per video. So that's um, four hours between, not necessarily recording, but generally I would like to, um, you know, have it all recorded um, by then, edit it, export it, edit, you know, the title's description, make a thumbnail, and then upload it, and hopefully that should take four hours within each video. Uh, I've come to find out, obviously, that that is not the case, um, and videos do take a lot longer than it does. So, uh, yeah, it just takes, honestly, a lot more of my time 
honestly more than learning business um so in regards to learning business um as i say i'm in the learning phase i'm just going to announce that i've left the real world in order to switch to digital launchpad um it should kind of roughly cover it in the digital launchpad review that i did i think somewhere near the end i said i was going to choose between the real world or digital launchpad but if i didn't really you know if i didn't really um clarify that i've left the real world just because the amount of value in digital launchpad is just fucking insane um and also the fact that i have a limited access to it so if i lock in my price uh my monthly price then i'll be able to keep in that price as long as i you know maintain my access to it and if i do that i'll have a um a uh learning campus subscription for a lot longer just a little bit longer a couple months longer than the real world um and just i think it has a lot to do with like the price perception and you know the price anchoring uh, i'm very aware, well aware of those techniques and you know strategies being practiced but i will say those definitely did influence my uh final decision so i've left the real world i am now in digital launchpad uh and i'm aiming to be in it for however long it takes to complete the programs um and depending on the growth of the program how much more value you know how much more perceived value i'm going to get over you know the next projected 6 6 months whether you know it's worth it to stay in it or you know by then i'll just say okay i've got in my value and then now i'm just going to actually just go back to the real world uh to resume my learning there in the copywriting campus the content creation campus and you know the ai campus you know all all the good stuff in there that i uh wanted to do but you know life happens and i just missed out on those things on digital launchpad i am focusing on pen to profit and then after that i hope to complete it by march within march and then uh after i complete it i then aim to start six figure sales rep take my notes on that and um yeah complete it you know honestly hopefully by next month next two months finally i will get to completing this new program that just came out as of recording this it came out yesterday i believe so on the 12th of march a program was released inside digital launchpad that is specifically digital don I've talked about it in my digital launchpad review but the program has actually finally came out. So with Digital Don, the teacher in it is Mike Thurston. When I was talking about it on that review, I only knew about the program because one I saw it in the locked programs on the Educate dashboard and because it was shown as a um it was shown and basically kind of teased on the landing page. Uh but now that it's come out, they've updated it, tweaked some little things. since the 12th of march which i now realize it's the 13th of march wednesday um digital done released with eight modules since its first release on the 12th of march there are eight modules it looks like it covers lifestyle fitness apparently i got some reference from other people that was about business management and um really just insights about also building your personal brand which i'm interested in so my road map for digital launchpad um for me it is going to be complete pen to profit by march then this month if not next month start six figure sales rep complete that and then complete digital done and by then i would have been practicing my copy i would have been starting to outreach um and getting work in getting testimonials in um really building my portfolio for copywriting really building my experience and then hopefully at some point i get a paid client and um things start to go up from there as the saying goes when it rains it pours so really looking forward to my first win especially when i had that um cuve sitting up there for about 3 months now um yeah i really do need to drink it at some point because otherwise by the time i drink it it's probably going to be spoiled i really don't know how um non alcoholic cuves go but And so the next thing I want to cover is in regards to my progress in Digital Launchpad so far. Um I got renewed 
I believe on the 11th or the 12th of March. Now I'm on to the craftsman role, uh, but more importantly, in regards to my progress and actually learning through the programs, I have not touched Digital Dawn yet. I've already completed Digital Launchpad from the first email launch, so I don't necessarily need to cover that. With Six Figure Sales Rep, I have not started a module yet again because I'm focusing on Penta Profit, where I am on Phase 6, Module 2, um, learning how to do YouTube ads. Um, it's very comprehensive, and uh, I'm about halfway through that. Um, so if anyone, anyone who's in a digital launchpad doing copywriting, doing um, pen to profit, you will know that is a very long, very long module. So I'm only about 44 minutes into that. So just a little over halfway. And yeah, that's, that's really my progress so far. Looking to just do about 11 minutes every single day until I finish that. And then I move on to the next one. Uh, depending on how long that is, I might have to segment it down just like I did with this current module. And then, yeah, um, but progress has been incremental. Taking and putting one foot in front of the other, just chipping away at it. And yeah, that's really how my days are going right now. Just a lot of video editing and um, learning business. We've obviously, you know, having to tackle schoolwork here and there. When it pops up but uh yeah other than that um guys in terms of routine i if you if you guys think like i'm some guy who nails my routine every single day i really do not i've i've been quite inconsistent with my workouts and obviously really the root of that is because i've just been tired um i've i've been tired and Usually when I wake up, still feel tired, so I end up oversleeping or, you know, waiting too long, hesitating too long, and that ends up me just really stretching out the work, the workout when really it should take only 40 minutes, and then it ends up being that, you know, I have to cut a workout short or just not do it at all because it's just like at that point that, that I have like a, a, like a mental deadline that I want to meet just to kind of create some urgency, just to kind of create some structure um, to not like tolerate, you know, delaying it and, you know, accepting that delay, but just really just trying to, you know, ensure that it doesn't leach into everything else that I have to do. So yeah, along with that, I just have not been reading yet again. I'm not an avid reader whatsoever. Um, so in regards to reading, I may have books over here. I have, I may have hundreds of books saved on my phone, on my computer, but really I, I just do not read. It's not a huge thing to me, but I know that, um, it's something that I'm definitely going to do in the future, you know, more consistently. Uh, aside from that, just haven't been walking outside a lot. The weather has been fucking hot. Um, and even right now, I'm, I'm, I'm getting really warm in, in my shirt right now. And it's just, I, I, it, that, that's also what contributes to just to really inconsistent you know, sleep. You know, my sleep is all over the place and yeah, that just further adds to more chaos, um, in my morning. Um, speaking of chaos in the morning, because of that as well, I also have to end up meditating um at different times during the day usually at school um not sure if i've mentioned this already but um i have been mentioning i have been meditating in the bathrooms you know during my study study sessions which are just free sessions um because as i just have less uh subjects this year but but that basically means that the empty spots are like filled in with these um, free, free study lines, free study sessions, which are called study lines. And it's basically kind of, you just do any work that you want to do. Generally it would be schoolwork and you're not like, mon you're not supervised heavy on that. But for me, I like to take my private space, um, and book rooms in other separate buildings outside of the campus. Uh, but yeah, as aside from that, uh, I've just been meditating in the bathrooms and, um, 
just making sure that I'm consistent on my meditation because I remember I did break my streak like 20 days ago uh, but I've been consecutive and being consistent with that um, again I just don't want to break it so um, yeah guys don't think I'm like copying anyone like my as I've already told you my routine has just been very hectic and yet again it just calls for me to have to delegate it somewhere else but yet again I also just want to be consistent make sure that um you know according to my monk mode you know just staying consistent with that and staying to my routine the best I can um is a better application of my time than just to uh kind of just say uh you know it isn't is it, it isn't the right time or you know it's past the time and i know that's contradictive the fact that i just said if i don't complete my workout on time then i might as well just you know kind of cut it short or like uh, not do it at all i know but just with something like this for just five minutes to meditate uh, which is the session and which is just one session that i do um, out of two throughout the day you know one in the morning and one at night it isn't that bad, you know, to do just five minutes in the bathroom just to get it done and ensure that, you know, I'm consecutive and I'm consistent with that. You know, while something like workouts, I have to do in the morning. If I do it in the afternoon, it can genuinely tire me out. Not that it already does in the morning. You know, in the morning, it is hard. Imagine having to wake up and then start a workout straight away within... 10 to 5, 5 to 10 minutes of waking up, it is hard. And, you know, especially when you're awake, you just wake up and you just start workout. Your mind's really not there. And so is your body. Um, it's cold. You know, you're just sluggish. You're a bit slow. And everything's just a little bit harder, you know, just to get through the reps. And, um, yeah. So with workouts, it's something that, you know, in the morning, if I can complete it, I should um, just to obviously keep myself fit, um, keep myself healthy. Um, but just another thing is just to get out of the way. It's a standard. And, you know, if I get it done in any other, any other time of the day, it's going to be more of a nuisance to me than it is a benefit, you know, in regards to, you know, just having a a certain time and place for everything you know I do workouts in the morning so I can get it out of the way and um, I'd rather just not have it be an obstacle to um, face to face before I have to do like hours and hours of work and you know not that I'm already tired at night yet again with the hot weather with with I don't know just these weird, weird energy crashes I haven't been you know pumping myself with caffeine you know i haven't been caffeine dumping and just fucking swallowing 400 milligrams of caffeine at most i will have 80 just as i already did and i don't even have it every day i really don't um and usually if, if not having a monster then i'll have like a just a regular coffee straight water water honey and um obviously one of those little coffee packets with like the creamer it's like a three in one two in one and you know something like that oh yeah and i also put like some medium roast in it that's probably even less that's probably not doesn't even like reach 80 milligrams of caffeine but i drink it and it just gives me a somewhat little boost of stable energy so yeah that's that's it really i know this talk segment has been longer than i expected and probably longer than you would want to watch um it's probably boring the fuck out of you right now um <laughs> sorry um but yeah i just felt the need to record again just because it's been really hectic and you know if i let these things slip out of my mind then i probably won't be able to remember them again i really hate to say that i'm busy but i'd, I'd just say like i got a lot of things to worry about and think about um, and it's just a little bit difficult for me to manage at the moment uh, with messaging learning business doing schoolwork figuring out why the hell 
I'm having energy crashes, trying to get myself through the hot weather, meditating in very, very weird places, very uncomfortable places, um, having to do my affirmations as well in private rooms, um, and read my SPA worksheet, just do all this. It's annoying and it, and it does, it does annoy me. Um, and I wish things weren't that way, but this is just what I'm dealing with. Um, I remember when I was watching over some of my recent videos, I think it was like staying up late. Uh, it just sent me back to the fact that, yeah, exactly as I said, um, you know, when I'm out of the holidays and now I'm back into school, you guys are going to see a more hectic version of my day. Um, just fucking hell. And, uh, yeah, I've had to face a lot of new struggles and new obstacles. Okay. I wouldn't call them struggles, but I would call them obstacles that have just been really piling up. And, um, they're just, they're things that like chip away at you. You know, those things that like just kind of chip at you, chip away at you slowly. It's not like abrupt, but it's like very incremental. They, they just slowly chip away at your energy, chip away at your focus. And, you know, by the end of the day, whether you realize it or not, you've lost a lot of focus and you just don't have the ball rolling. Um, that's how I feel with the weather. That's how I feel with all those, you know, distractions, delays, these problems I've been having recently. Um, so I think that's, that's everything I needed to cover. Moving forward, I'm going to just go ahead and video edit for the next the next two hours basically um working on this dl project like i really i'll be honest i don't like to talk about this but yeah i'm just gonna go continue my video editing for um, another two hours i've done my i've done my learning segment i've completed my learning segment for today also reviewing over four masterclass ads so just looking at the ad structure of that um that's just kind of like a little exercise that i found um in the module so just practicing that um outside of the module uh but right now right now i'm gonna go ahead video edit for two hours because i have two digital launchpad calls one at 12 30 a.m which is about sales outreach and another one at 4.30 in the morning as well. Two calls in the same morning. So, yeah, I, it's not even normal for me to stay up past 11, like 11.40. So I'm really pushing myself today. Um, so basically I have two calls, set my alarms for those. Uh, but I have a call at 12.30 a.m., I'll show you this. I'll show you my screen super soon. I'll show you my screen in a second. I have a call at 12.30 a.m. in the morning with sales outreach and then a community call with the digital launchpad um, support slash moderation team at 4.30 in the morning. Yeah, today's going to be rough, especially with the hot weather as well. So I'm sorry, guys. I've been talking for, what, maybe 20 minutes now. Um... But, but I just haven't been recording in a while and um, I just felt the need to record this um, just to really get it out all in one video because um, I can't really spread it out yet again. Super jam-packed day, every day. So yeah, I'm going to go ahead and uh, get to video editing. So as you can see here, just zooming in on the event, uh, there it is. That is the sales outreach call with Nemaya, Nemaya Jordan. He's just a sales expert uh, recently introduced in uh, the Discord. And then I got another one here, community call with Digital Launchpad team. As you can see, a lot of people interested, but usually with these kind of numbers, you'd get around about 100 people to 200 people joining. And yeah, um, as you can see, here's like some of the other calls as well. <laughs> This is just fucking ridiculous. Um, yeah, I, I, yeah, and obviously just to top it off as well, got another call with Stormblight. Um, also tomorrow, fucking great. 
Um, yeah. Yeah, I, I got a lot of work and I got a lot of things to uh, be held up in. Um, a lot of things to think about and worry about. Uh, and yeah, um, but I'm sure um, I still have a little bit more to talk about. Um, so whenever I cover that soon, uh, whenever I record again, maybe tomorrow morning um, or somewhere tomorrow, somewhere in the next few days, uh, that'll basically be me wrapping up um, just my thoughts, my feelings, journaling down to you guys how I feel at the moment. Um, yeah, yeah. I'm going to go ahead and edit, then get through these two calls. I'll just share you guys probably a couple clips and pre-recordings of that. So I'll try and make sure I can get some clips in. Just a couple clips of the call as it's going. And yeah, that'll be the start for tomorrow.